Hello, I'm Dr. Caroline Hyam from Queensland University of Technology, and with me is consultant psychiatrist Dr. Christian Hyam. Hello. So, what is Wash Your Web? It's an evidence based, self implemented psychological tool to help prevent burnout. It's for nurses, doctors, paramedics, social workers, anybody who witnesses trauma or is subject to strong emotions at work. I developed it while working in trauma for years. It's now in a peer-reviewed journal awaiting a trial and it helps the brain process and file away emotions rather than letting them accumulate, which leads to burnout. So what's actually involved? Thinking time. A few seconds before and on shift to prepare your brain for incoming strong emotions and then a few moments after shift to process these emotions so you can get on with life. Right, and why release it now? COVID-19, mm. healthcare workers stretched. There are some very sad cases, including suicide. Healthcare workers witness so much trauma, death, disease, unmet need, heartache. This is vicarious trauma, seeing the trauma, not experiencing it yourself. Mm. But the evidence is clear. We know that this can lead to depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, cynicism, hopelessness, absenteeism, poor sleep, and all of these are burnout. But don't debriefing and talking to a supervisor actually help? Yes, they do. But we have added problems. Stigma, stoicism, and a risk-intolerant workplace, which means that people are not putting their hands up saying, I need help because they fear being stood down or losing their job completely. So this is a private tool that people can use to help prevent burnout in the first place. Great, so can you quickly run us through Wash Your Web? Wash Your Web is an acronym because in a sense, you want to wash the web of accumulated emotions. And it's in two parts, wash, for before and during a shift, and web for after the shift. So before and during you wash, W-A-S-H. W? W is for wall of empathy. Wall of empathy. This is to remind yourself to use compassion rather than empathy because the evidence shows that empathy activates your amygdala leading to emotional pain. Compassion in your orbitofrontal cortex and basal ganglia motivates you to action. So more compassion, less empathy, means less emotional pain, less burnout. A. Anticipate strong emotions. Anticipate strong emotions. You do this by building an imaginary shelf in your mind. A shelf in your mind. Anticipation is a mature defense mechanism, a lot of evidence behind it. It basically is planning, preparing, saying, I am ready. S. S is for shelve strong emotions. Shelve strong emotions. While you're on shift and you go through a strong emotion, you don't have time to deal with it then, so you lay it on your shelf and say, I will deal with this later. This is suppression, another mature defense mechanism. It's far better than repression, which is pushing the emotion away, pretending that you don't feel it, and saying, I'm okay, but really, you're just in denial. Mm. H. Hold hope. Hold hope. You hold hope by helping compassionately. You hope that things go well for the person that you have helped, but they may not. So you remind yourself that you are part of a team reaching towards good outcomes. This again activates compassion rather than empathy, which can lead to burnout. And at the end of the shift, web, W-E-B. At the end of your shift, you relax without a drink, and you go through web to process the emotions that you've shelved. W. Walk through your day. Walk through your day. This is an exposure technique and it takes less than a minute. You just recall the events of your shift from beginning to end. E. E is express shelved emotions. Express shelved emotions. Here, this is another exposure technique that has decades of evidence behind it. Here we marry up feeling and thinking. So the first thing that you do is notice the shelved emotion, then you label it with just the right word, and then you express it. You express it by speaking it out, using hand gestures, facial expressions. All the time you're getting in touch with that emotion while thinking about it, you stay in control. 
And this way, the brain opens up pathways to understand the emotion and file it away safely. And B. B is use a bilateral stimulation technique. A bilateral stimulation technique, okay. <laughs> yes, we have evidence for the use of this in people who have suffered trauma. It's one side of the brain stimulating the other and vice versa. So that there's a lot of information going across the corpus callosum which connects the left and the right brains. This too opens up new pathways so that the brain can process the trauma through neuroplasticity. And how often do we need to use the washer web tool? I believe every shift. And after weeks, you will notice a clarity of mind, ideally, and a calm as you continue in your work. And the evidence? The rationale of the tool is based on evidence-based principles. We have presented the tool at a trauma conference in San Francisco in 2019. Thank you, Dr. Howard Backer. We are now in a peer-reviewed journal. We await a clinical trial and the findings of this trial will be presented in Cleveland in late 2020. And now, is there anything else that we need to know? The website has more information. It has training videos so you can follow along step by step. And healthcare workers, thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you so much.